guys battled so hard tonight. How tough is it to, to see it get away there at the end? It's tough. I mean, you know, we put ourselves in a good position, good, you know, hard fought game tonight. Played much better, executed, uh, shared the ball, moved the ball a little bit better second half, better effort defensively second half, better job sharing the ball. Um, thought we executed pretty well down the stretch, got a few good looks, uh, but we didn't come up with the stops that we needed. You know, that was a big stop. We, they missed the shot. They get a tip out. Now they get an extra possession where we could have tied the game or took the lead had we got that stop. So uh, we're getting better down the stretch, but uh, we needed that stop tonight. What was the plan on Middleton tonight, and what was your assessment on how that was executed? We tried to get to him. He's a he's a very good shooter. We did not want him, you know, taking shot after shot mid range from three. He was a focus for us tonight. Um, give them credit; they do a good job moving him around, and um, you know he's a big part of what they do. And we chased him. We fought through screens, and uh, he made shots tonight. But. Uh, we got to be much better, much more engaged from the start of the game uh, through the fourth quarter. You had to be curious about the response after last night, and for 42 minutes, 40, 46 minutes, I guess you played pretty well. Is it a shame that the last two kind of overshadow them? Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, you want to you want to feel a win right now for our group. Uh, it always helps, and especially the way we played tonight on the road, coming off a tough loss. Um, to bounce back in this environment under these circumstances, I'm proud of our guys. Their effort, I thought they played very well tonight. Um, but we, you know, our challenge is down the stretch. We got to execute. We got to win these close games. Um, I thought we had a couple of good looks. Vic had a good look. Tobias had a good look. Fit, uh, Tobias had two good looks, and they just didn't fall tonight. But uh, we could have helped ourselves defensively to get stops down the stretch. You know, Tobias, that layup out of the timeout. What did you see there? It, it, it seemed like he, he thought he was going to get contact, and he didn't didn't get a lot of contact. Yeah, there was there was some contact. I mean, we're just going to play through some of these. You know, um, we're not going to get a ton of calls right now, but that's that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fight through it. Still want our guys to be aggressive. Vic was aggressive tonight. He shot four free throws. He was aggressive, and I still want him to continue to to be aggressive uh, to the rim. So, um, but that was a big bucket for us. Got us, you know, at least within striking distance there. The club scored 34 points there in the second half. I know they ramped up their defense. What, yeah. what did you see from them defensively? When they well, when they amp it up, and when you know Milwaukee, Miami amps it up, Indiana amps it up. It's going to be in every game. Boston will do it. You know, a couple nights from now. It's how we respond. And you got to respond with poise and aggression on your on your own end. Uh, we can't be on our heels. Partly that's to their credit. They're a big, long, athletic team, and they turned it up on us. Now we got to respond. Now we have to execute. We got to be even better when that happens. And um, you know, I think that's the growth of our team at this point. What Nick had a good night statistically, but is he getting away from the the deep post position that you want from him? Uh, is, He's getting a lot of pick and pop shots, but but do you need him deeper in the post? We do want Nick to post up, and partly tonight they were double teaming him. It's hard to get it down there because they're coming on him every single time he catches. But uh, with Dwayne out there, he is going to pop a little bit. He's going to be a little bit more on the perimeter with Dwayne Dedman in the game. Sometimes that keeps him out there for the entire game. We don't want him to live out there, especially when Channing's in with him. We want him deeper. So it's going to be a mixture for Nick. You know, with with Dwayne, he's going to be out on the perimeter a little bit more. With Chan, we want him a little bit deeper. Denman had a relatively limited amount of playing time in the second half. What was your rationale there, and, and could he have helped you down the stretch? He could have. I think just like Channing spacing out there. Channing played well. The way they were playing defensively, we needed some space. If we had Denman out there, it could have been even a tighter court for our guards to play in. We could have used him defensively. You know, sometimes you just got to make a call, and I thought Channing was shooting the ball well. He, he was giving us what we needed offensively. The first half that, that Alfred had, it was one of his better halves. I mean, he was getting in the lane time and time again. How, how impressed were you with that? He's aggressive. I mean, every night we want him in the paint. That's what he does. And uh, I thought he was aggressive in the first half. Um, you know, he did a much better job second half finding guys. He was moving the ball. So we need. that's where we need him. You're using Aaron Gordon a lot in big spots. You, you, you like his ability to switch and, yeah. and guard a lot of guys. Can you just talk about your we confidence? We do, yeah. Between uh, you know Harkless, Tobias, and uh, Aaron Gordon, you know they can like size guys. They can switch a lot. Aaron Gordon can guard multiple positions: two, three, four, sometimes fives. So, um, like his athleticism, he you know he he made some big plays for us tonight. We trust him, and he'll be in uh, most games here down the stretch. 
coach, you'd get a lead, you'd, you'd try to pull away, and then they'd scratch and claw their way back into it. Well, what's the next step? How does your how does your club learn to, to keep a lead and, and start to close it out? Well, two things. You got to extend the lead. So we got to play. We had a nice lead. Then we got to build on it, extend that thing. And when it gets tight, win those close games, you know, execute down the stretch. So when it does become a tight game, can we execute down the stretch? That's growing. We're, we're going through those growing pains right now. And it's always easier to, to win games and learn from it. We've won close ones and we've learned from it. We'll learn from this one. We'll move on and we'll uh, be better for it uh, against Boston. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. There you go, Paul. Back to you in the studio.